Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're exploring to a powerful technique in data analysis, simple linear regression with a logarithmic transformation. If you've ever struggled with data that doesn't fit a straightforward linear model, this tutorial is for you. I'll guide you through the entire process from transforming your data to visualizing the results. By the end, you'll know how to tackle complex data patterns with ease. Let's get started. Let's consider we have a data set that is nonlinear in nature. The figure shows data points in red circles and a linear regression curve modeled for this data passing through them. However, this black curve misses most of the data points and does not accurately model the given data set. Therefore, we want to find a mathematical model for this data such that the regression curve passes through maximum number of data points. The blue curve shows that the data set is being modeled much accurately as compared to linear regression line. It can be noticed that the new curve passes through all the data points. In this tutorial, we will learn how Python programming can be used to find a mathematical model for such a non-linear data set to improve accurate predictions in real-world data sets. As an example, we will consider the following data points, where our goal is to find the accurate estimations for y at unknown values of x. This can be done using Python programming, where we can model a mathematical equation that defines a curve that connects all the given data points. Let's move to the Python coding on Google Collaboratory. First, we need to import the libraries that will be used in our script. We will be using NumPy for numerical operations and matplotlib for plotting our results. Next, we will define the data we are working with. Here, we have two arrays, x and y, representing our independent and dependent variables, respectively. We then transform the x data by taking the natural logarithm. This transformation is often used when we suspect a logarithmic relationship between x and y. With the transformed data, we set up the design matrix X. This matrix includes a column of ones to represent the intercept and a column of the transformed X values. Now, we will perform the least squares regression to find the best fit line. The NP, Linalg. LSSQ function returns the coefficients of the regression line. We can now display the estimated coefficients to see the results of our regression. Let's run the code to see the coefficients. The coefficients A1 and A2 define the best fit line in the logarithmic space. Next, we will use the estimated coefficients to predict the value of y for new x values, such as 2.5 and 11. Again, run the code to see the estimated values of y. This will show the estimated y values for a range of x values between the minimum and maximum x from your data. Finally, let's visualize our results. We will plot the original data points as red dots and overlay the fitted logarithmic curve to see how well our model captures the data trend. Label the plot for both x-axis and y-axis. Show the legend on the plot. Enable grid lines of the plot for better readability. Showing the labels for the data points and the fitted curve. Finally, this line displays the plot. The plot visually demonstrates how well the logarithmic regression model fits the data, aiding in the interpretation of variable relationships. This tutorial covers using simple linear regression with a logarithmic transformation in Python to model nonlinear relationships, improving model accuracy by stabilizing variance. The transformation provides a practical approach for complex data relationships and enhances decision making. 
if you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.